Hola. Hola. Lightspeed Spanish podcast number 34 for early intermediate. <laughs> Wait, Correct? Correct. She was telling me off for forgetting the numbers. I remembered it. 34. Me echaba la bronca. Um, and today we're dealing with two really, really cool verbs. Sentir and sentirse. Oh. Okay. ¿Cómo te sientes, niña? Me siento bien. Bien. Sí, nerviosa. ¿Nerviosa por...? No. ¿En general? Sí. No, estoy bien, me siento bien. ¿Quieres discutir conmigo? Vale. ¡No! No, porque ella gana. Siempre gana. Por supuesto. Sí. ¿Cómo te sientes tú? ¿Qué tal? Eh, bien, bien. Bueno, es un poco tarde ahora, ¿no? ¿Qué hora es? No lo sé. Son las 10 menos 10. Las 10 menos 10. Sí, y voy Entonces, a poner el sí, reloj. Sí, ya está poniendo el, sí, lo sí, el reloj otra vez. Vale, ya. más o menos, ¿no? Más o y, menos. Sí, pero me, me siento como bien y bien tranquilo. Bien y bien tranquilo. Mm. Sí. Muy bien. Well cool. Bien tranquilo. <risa> bien guay. <risa> sí, como en inglés que decís... Vale, en inglés, ¿qué decís? I'm well tired o we tired. Mm -hmm. ¿We es slang o qué? De México, we. We. No, pero we. I'm um, we. This is way too big. O es ah. well too big. Well too big, sí, way too big, sí. Vale, pero es we. We es demasiado. Well? No. Pero puedes decir it's well too big. No, pero si, si, usa, si usas we, estás diciendo demasiado. Vale. Si us, usas well, es como bien. Well too big. No, ¿eh? No puedes decir eso. Way too big. I'm well tired, ¿no? Way tired. I'm way tired, no, way tired, sí. Pero no well. No sé qué, porque yo no digo eso. <risa> no sé. Es que, que he no oído well slang. y way a veces. Sí, pero... Pero es eh, que en español, en español se dice bien. Sí. Esto es bien grande, esto es bien... Sí. Same, like una well. cerveza, una cerveza bien fría. Bien fría. Well cold. Sí. That's why I'm asking, because... You say we, but I didn't know if we was coming from well. I don't think so, I think it's just slightly different. Because we say well. Mm -hmm. No, we is demasiado. Okay. okay, so getting to the theme. That's now, settled then. Sentir, sentirse. Sentir so, y sentirse. Vale. So, sentir is, is to feel. Yeah? Y and sentirse is to feel. To feel, <laughs> to feel oneself. Okay? To but feel in, oneself. But not are. in that. To feel something within yourself, yeah? <laughs> Okay, so how do you distinguish between the two? And this has been, used to be a big confusion to me. I never, I, I could never understand when you would say me siento and when you would say siento. And then I discovered the answer. But Cynthia's going to tell us, Cynthia, what, what does me siento typically go with and what does siento go with? Okay, me siento can mean two things completely different. Me siento could mean I sit down. Sure. From <laughs> okay. sentarse. So that's one. All right, let's put that in one side. Me siento. Mm -hmm. And also me siento is I feel. I feel. And then after that, you need an adjective or an adverb. Me siento bien. Me siento cansada. Me siento feliz. Me siento triste. Me siento something. Okay. So, because we had this conversation about what follows it and we said it's, it's an adjective. But then, but then we were talking about bien because bien is an, is an adverb, so we said an adverb, but typically adjectives follow, isn't it? Yes, typically. typically. Yeah? typically. All right, so me siento, me siento cansado, me siento eh, fenomenal, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then siento. Siento. Goes with is what? I feel. And what do you feel? I feel and then a noun. Uh, eh, siento pena. Siento tristeza. Siento alegría. Siento, and then any noun. Okay, so so that's great. You, you hinted at the way to the way to distinguish it. It's very easy. What you do is this: you ask yourself one question, right? With with sentirse, you say, "How do you feel?" And that's a common question. ¿Cómo te how do you feel? ¿Cómo ¿Cómo te te sientes? Sientes? How do you feel? So you have to express express how by using an adjective. I feel happy, sad, yeah. And with sentir you're asking what do you feel 
I feel sadness, happiness, uh, joy, uh, fear. Mm -hmm. sí. So that's the difference. So how do you feel? Sentirse. What do you feel? Sentir. And okay. that's also why we say lo siento, I'm sorry, and not me lo siento, because that's lots of people say me lo, well, that's <laughs> a typical mistake as well. Me lo siento, no. Lo siento, I feel it. It what is and it? the it is would be a noun. Exactly, yeah. I'm Wouldn't feeling it. it. What I is feel it? it? It. The sorrow or the happiness or Yeah. Lo siento. Um, well in this case would be Typically, lo siento is used bad. for. Yeah. I'm, it's, it's, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm feeling. I'm sorry. I'm feeling sorriness. But we say no? I feel it. I feel yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Lo siento. Mm -hmm. um, and what about uh, sentir que? Sentir que. That's what I was going to say. So siento que. I feel that. Like in like in English. Siento que. Siento que. Eh, te he decepcionado. I feel that I've disappointed you. Mm -hmm. Or siento que. Um, siento que estés triste. I'm sorry that you are sad. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's again sorry, yeah. Mm -hmm. It could yeah. be sorry or I feel. I feel that. Because like it's I'm same, the same. the same in, in. It's the same in Spanish. We say I feel, I feel, but you say I'm sorry or I feel. It depends on I the feel context. That, yeah, I've disappointed you. I yes. feel that. I'm sorry that I've disappointed yes. you. Yes. Yeah. But it could, you know, yeah. Siento mm -hmm. que. But, right, okay, this is a bit complicated because it would be for advanced mm -hmm. or advanced intermediate, but Siento que... Siento haberte decepcionado I'm sorry for having... Yes. Mm -hmm. O siento que te he decepcionado, I feel that I have disappointed okay, you. Okay, so that's how you would differentiate. Yeah. Yeah. Por haberte decepcionado. Yes. Yeah, for having. For having. Okay. It's not, that's not a very difficult structure, really. Um, Just because I use the subjunctive. Uh -huh. yeah. I use the subjunctive for my book. Mm -hmm. Pass me the book. Just because I use the subjunctive. Dang, dang, dang! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Demystifying the Spanish subjunctive. <laughs> Feel the fear in the subjunctive anyway. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you have like an American it's a, voice? A blip there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> There's something walking like this. <laughs> okay. Um, Okay, so, what I've noticed is this, so Cynthia, that the, using adjectives like with me siento, me siento feliz, sí. triste, seems to be much more common than siento felicidad, sí. tristeza. It's more common, yes. Yeah. Um, and, and so adjectives tend to be used much, much more than nouns when you're talking about feelings. Yes, it's more common to say what, uh, how you feel. Then what do you feel? Yeah, yeah. Vale, vale Gordon. Pues nos vamos, ¿no? Nos vamos. Sí. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.